My name is Danika. I'm based in North London. I'm a photographer. I go by serious film, mostly. Photography was more of a hobby for me before it became something that I wanted to pursue as a career. So when I was doing it and people were seeing it and like, oh, like you take good photos and stuff, it actually was like, okay, maybe I can do this. So I just started shooting friends at first, going to parties. I bought like a cheap point and shoot camera at the time. I guess it's about what you're taking a photo of, not the quality of it. It's definitely not a loss to go to university, but from my personal experience, I spent more time shooting out of class. It's more about your portfolio more than anything. I made a lot of effort in when I wasn't studying, trying to shoot and linking everything back to my work so then I could kind of do two in one, but I learned more just being outside and testing, shooting, when the weather is cloudy and when it's sunny, that's how I learned how to take photos, not from a manual or like a tutorial on YouTube. There are so many photographers that I come across and I'm, I love their work, but I do try my best not to watch what other people are doing just because I can get inspired by someone, but I don't want to get inspired to the point where I'm basing my work around something that I like that they did. I'd rather just do my own thing and concentrate on that, but there are so many sick girls out there taking sick photos. I feel like we are moving forward with the representation of women in the industry. I think a lot of people do like to say, oh, there's not enough girls, but there are a lot of girls and there are opportunities for us. It's about how hard you work as an individual. You can't say that you're a minority, but you're not working hard enough to try and get past that label. There's no particular reason for why I shoot more girls or why I shoot more people of colour. I'm just shooting my friends, I'm just, people around me, people that inspire me, people that I meet on a drunk night out in the toilets or just someone I've found on Instagram that I really like. There's no particular reason for anything. So some projects that I've really enjoyed working on, my Girls Don't Cry project. I just really started to push myself and create my own lane and my own journey. I guess I just want to show girls that it doesn't matter how you express yourself with your work. For me, being a crybaby was something that <laughs> I was really insecure about and now it's like, okay, look at everything I've achieved from being who I am and not trying to be anyone else. I know it's so cliche to say be yourself, but that like, who else can you be? You can only be yourself.